Howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be taking a closer look at the Landscape Soundwich. And here it is, kind of a strange little uh, musical gadget. I don't know what else you'd really call this. Um, and you know, the reason I am making this video is I saw when Landscape released these, I don't know, it was a year or two ago, when they released these, I was like, oh, that's kind of cool, I wonder what it does. And then since then, I've seen a lot of videos that people have made where they're using the Soundwich and they're making cool sounds but they don't really tell you what it's doing. And so I'm like, is it processing the audio? Is it creating the audio? What the heck is it? And I got so curious that I just went out and bought one. And that's why I'm making this video today. But actually, it's a really nifty little gadget. I'm gonna show you some of what it can do. And you can probably think of some of your own things because it really, I'm not even sure what to call this. I can buy it from Landscape from their website. And it comes as either a DIY kit or fully built. The fully built one is $70. The DIY kit is $44. So if you're a DIYer, you might be thinking, oh, I'll save some money and get the kit. Now, it's not a terribly difficult thing to build, but I should add one thing. It is all surface mount inside of there. So if you have not done surface mount soldering, um, you know, that might be intimidating to you. If you want to learn, this would be a great one to learn on because there's not very many components. It's a pretty simple build, but it is surface mount. So do be aware of that. Um, and let's get into it. What is it? At its most simple, this is simply a shaker. Just like an egg shaker or any other percussion instrument like that, it makes noises. So you can probably see here, there's three screws on the back. And then those three screws go through and they attach to threaded holes on the other side. And then on each screw shaft, there are two washers. And that's what makes that sound. So at its simplest, you can simply do this and keep a beat with it. Additionally, there are, you can just kind of see them, there are a bunch of switches around the outside and the switches click when you press them. So you can combine those clicks with the shakes And so again, it can just be your basic, uh, you know, percussion, replace your egg shaker with this. Um, it just, it basically can be any sort of little shaky thing. You can do it this way, up and down. You can click the little thingies, whatever you wanna do. So it can be a little very basic percussion instrument. But remember, it has a couple of jacks here. So you can also make it an electric shaker. Just plug the sound which in there and like I said it has two jacks you notice I am plugged into um, if you look closely here this one has like a bunch of contacts here or a bunch of traces here and this one only has one I'm plugged into the one that just has a single and let's go ahead and turn the amp on it can be an electric shaker so there's one other thing you can do with it now, I wanna show you one other thing while we're demonstrating here with the cigar box amp. If I plug into the other jack, we hear the acoustic tone, but there's nothing coming out of the amp. Why? Because this is what we call the momentary jack. And the momentary jack only allows the audio to pass when one of these little switches around the outside is depressed. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. So as soon as you push one of those switches, you get audio. So you've essentially got a bunch of little low pass filters in here that are applying a different value to the audio signal. If I do it over, if I do it on this end, it's not filtering much at all. But if I do it on the opposite end, it's filtering out a whole lot of that signal. You can just kind of barely hear. Okay, so let's go back to the all the, all the time jack real quick. And since this is, essentially it does have two piezoelectric discs inside there, which are essentially contact pickups. This is a sort of microphone. Check, 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 check. So you can basically use this, you know, you can kind of speak into it like that and get some sort of signal. Um, or you could, you know, think about the amount of things you could put this against. So for instance, I'm gonna turn that off for a second so we don't get those jingles. For instance, you could like tape this to the side of a, um, I don't know, like a 50 gallon drum and hit it with a stick or something and it's gonna, you know, pick up those vibrations or, so there's a lot of different things like that that you could do just using it as sort of a microphone or a percussion device. But here's where it really gets crazy. So 
The two jacks are connected, and this is a passive circuit. So either jack can be an output, as we just showed, but either jack can also be an input. So you can use it to process audio as well. And of course, all those filters are gonna be applied to that incoming audio. So you could take any sort of CV source, control voltage source, and plug it through this, and then when you push on whichever switch, it's going to get a filtered CV signal delivered to wherever, you know, wherever it's going. So that could be kind of, you know, a, another little interesting thing that you could do with this. And I mean, from there, you can just start to make stuff up. So what is this thing? It's basically an audio path with a bunch of filters applied that you can send audio or control voltage or any signal for that matter through here as long as it's an eighth inch signal and process it through those filters or you can just use it as a percussion instrument or you can really use this both at the same time if you really wanted to you could plug something in and still have the percussion sounds coming out of it i mean it's kind of a crazy little thing it has a lot of different things it can do so uh let me just show you a few examples You can stand up, you can clap your hands, you can dance around, or, you know, something like that. You can stand up, you can clap your hands, you can dance around, or, you know, something like that. You can stand up, you can clap your hands, you can dance around, or, you know, something like that. You can stand up, you can clap your hands, you can dance around, or, you know, something like that. Okay, folks, so that was the sound witch from uh, Landscape. And so next time you see one of these, you won't be looking at it like this because you'll know what it does. And uh, that's why I wanted to make this video. I didn't know what it did. I figured somebody else out there is curious about what it did. And you know what? It's actually pretty darn cool. It's got a lot of different possibilities. It's just a good little gadget to have in your arsenal. There you go. If you like what I do on this channel, guys, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. I will see you in the next video.